Alright, uh, today we're going to look at how to write a good topic sentence and use that to create a focused analytical paragraph using Ode on Melancholy. So before we can come up with a good topic sentence, the first thing we need to do is identify the key themes for, for the poem, and then we'll use these to create our topic sentences. So the first theme is transience or impermanence. This refers to the way that uh, nothing that is very good can exist for forever, and nothing that is very bad, like melancholy, can exist forever. And that the point is they are only uh, good or very good or very bad because they don't last very long. The second theme is the nature of melancholy. This refers to the way that melancholy is presented in the poem, for example, the way in which it's personified as a, a beautiful goddess. So for the first topic sentence, I've focused on, on the theme of transience and impermanence and explained how the poet has presented this in the poem. You'll notice I haven't listed techniques that they've used or said that they've used words to do this. You don't need to do that at this stage. For the second topic sentence, I've drawn attention to the way that Keats presents melancholy uh, by contrasting it to the, to the other situations like joy and beauty. Again, notice that I haven't made any reference to any quotes or techniques that he uses at this stage. What I'm going to do now is annotate the poem, highlighting the, the quotations linking to the different themes in the colours shown here. Here I've highlighted all the quotations in blue that I think are relevant to the theme of transience and impermanence. I haven't highlighted all the quotations from the poem that I could use, I've just stuck to ones that I think are really relevant to this topic sentence and that I can use to, to form a really, really focused paragraph and I've made some annotations about how I might want to analyse them or include them in my paragraph. I've 
based on my, my annotations of the poem, I've come up with these four main points that, I can, that I'm going to put in my paragraph. They all link cohesively to my topic sentence, so it's all going to flow coherently, and I know that I've got evidence to support all of these points. And here is my finished paragraph. It's simply the four points that I outlined there, together with some of the quotations that I've highlighted. And it all links closely to the topic sentence, and the analysis builds on what go what's gone before. So here I've highlighted the different sections of the answer. You've got the topic sentence and the points that were outlined. There's lots of evidence and there's also a variety of different te techniques, for example structure, sound, uh, techniques and language that have been identified as well. Now I'd like you to go ahead and write the paragraph for the other topic sentence. You should annotate your copy of the poem, think of your points, and then put it all together into a, a paragraph based around this topic sentence. <laughs> 